there and welcome I am Oz and today we will be installing something on the interior which I have been holding back for a very long time and that is to install the Barton Industries shift knob for the automatic in my 2018 Mustang GT I opted for the blue variant but there are a different type of colors such as red and uh, white I was actually thinking of those to get a really strong contrast to the other parts of the interior but then again I thought and changed my mind and went for the blue because I have the beautiful beautiful midnight interior which has uh, blue accents on the stitching and on the leather on the seats etc and also it will match the exterior part of the car which is the lightning blue color uh, better as well also the actual shifter comes in different variants as well i have the brushed one and there is also a black one and also the plate indicating uh, the different selections uh, on the shifter can also be had in brushed or black without any further ado let's go ahead with the install we will start off by removing this rubber piece and then we will try to pry off this chrome piece from the top. Actually the whole it was sitting so hard so the whole piece came out in one go which was not the intention the intention is to get this uh, chrome piece out first and then to remove this uh, black part I will try to film a bit how this connector is sitting there we have the connector to the left that needs to be disconnected before we can actually remove this black trim piece so there is the connector you can see the red cable going into it there. The connector also has a tab here which you should press in order to release the connector. Now the cable is disconnected as you can see. Now we can try to remove the boot and in order to do that there are two screws. One here and one above. Either you have a short screwdriver or you can uh, turn the ignition on without turning the car on and moving the shifter back to neutral so you can get uh, a better access with a longer screwdriver so two screws here one here and one above one here and one above on the front side of the shifter now i have the shift selector in neutral and before we continue anything i don't know if you can see that but there is a lot of places where things can fall into so we will put a microfiber cloth before we continue when we are trying to unscrew the screws so they don't end up in uh, some of the nooks and crannies in there and we will never be able to pick those out. So we will go ahead and unscrew those two screws there so we can actually remove the whole boot and the shift selector. We will then now unscrew the two screws which we have on this side. There we have the whole boot and the shifter out and here you can see the two screws which were on the front. Next there are two tabs holding the boot to the sh shifter so we want to deattach these two. So with that done, we get the shifter out. So the shifter is out. Let's put that aside here so for now. Next thing we want to do is to remove the boot from this uh, plastic trimming. This plastic trimming is connected to the boot with glue. So we will just decompress the boot. So there you have it. 
So the next step is to pull the shifter through the boot and also for uh, this larger diameter to fit in the boot uh, you need to do two small cuts on each side and the next step is then to pull through the shifter to the boot make sure that where the screw goes to hold the shifter to the actual actuator it needs to be facing the letters on this trim piece here. Just want to pull the boot through enough just to get the screw head revealed as such. The next step is to secure the boot to the shifter with the supplied uh, zip tie and so you just apply the zip tie around here and uh, make it snug and then you will cut off any excess and then we will move on to the next part. So there we have the end result. We have the uh, zip tie around there secured the next step is to install this stop uh, on the original shifter this more or less was a plastic piece which was already on the shifter so we need to install this as you can see there are two cutouts so, or for where screws are supposed to go to be installed on the shifter here there are two screws which are the ones we uninstalled previously and also you can see there's a slot here this needs to face the driver side like so this is how it looks when this stop is installed. As you can see, there are two holes. Two springs will go into there, positioned in, in the boot itself. And also, here you have the two screws, which we mentioned earlier. So the next step is to install the springs and also the boot up on the shifter itself. Supplied in a kit, are two springs which needs to be positioned in uh, two slots in the actual shifter or in the boot. These two springs will then go on the two holes on the adapter and also we have a screw on this side which will then be facing the driver and we have threaded this screw a tiny bit and as you remember we had a slot on the actual adapter this screw will then attach to that slot and keep the shifter in place. Uh, as you can see, there are there is grease here which will hold these springs uh, in place because we will flip this around and try to heat these two holes in the adapter. So let's go ahead with that. So you feel that the springs are functioning the way you want or they're supposed to, you then can decompress them or compress them a bit until the screw actually fits into the slot in the adapter and then you can secure screw into the adapter holding the shifter in place then. Before you assemble the trim pieces, you can go ahead and put your foot on the gas and release the lock and just to see that you can actually perform the shifts without any issues. I'm happy with that so let's go ahead and reassemble the trim pieces so we start from the back and we will move our way forward before we continue you want to make sure that the connector here doesn't get snapped while you're putting the trim pieces back so we'll work our way from the back to the front and there we go the last step then is to actually assemble the cue ball and as you can see this plate you want to have it straight but it could happen while you're threading it to the end it doesn't actually point straight so what you have here is an allen screw which you can unscrew in there and then you screw the cue ball in and then you will actually adjust this and then unscrew the cue ball again and then tighten the allen screw. Now we have the cue ball nice and straight. The last piece is then to put back the rubber protection here. All right guys, that was all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment sections below and I will try to answer them the best I can. We have a bunch of new videos coming. I just need some time to make them. Give me two thumbs up if you like this video and please do subscribe and stay tuned for more content. Until the next time.